We got we've got money. We could actually open up yet another one of our chest things. I think I'm going to hold off on that a little bit. Simply because I think I want to go and save up some of the money in case we need to be buying more recipes. Which is something that we will eventually need to start doing as we start getting into other areas. Because I think on our other playthrough we ended up with the necromancer side. So if we have the opportunity with this character, I want to go for the light side. That way I can unlock some things there. So I think this is the way up to that high ground. We are probably going to get accosted by harpies. Hi. You guys are not terribly scary. Level 35. So they are about the same level as us. So they they are level adjusted. Yeah, this is the right way. For a second there, I thought it was leading me back down and we just had like a dead end hovering over us or something. But that would have been just cruel and unusual. Okay, Tobaz Signet. Yes. And yeah, we're just moving in. We're, we're just going to keep running through this as quickly as possible trying to get down there. I will stop to just keep things from cornering me in case I need to run back from like a boss mob. But beyond that, I'm not, I'm not stopping to investigate a lot of stuff until we get the map kind of revealed down here. So map wise, we have right or left. I'm going to go right because that's towards what we wanted to see over here. There apparently is a quest down here. So this might actually be... Lord Bi Bivouac, or whatever his name is. I don't know. Barrows Radlith is his name. Okay, fine. And we can't rebuild the bridge. I would love the actual, like... I do like it whenever games have the ability to, like, rebuild bridges back to places like you've been through. Dark Souls does this very well. So I really do like that. And basically shortcuts back for your work, so you don't have to, like, worry about a lot of stuff. Hi, guys. Can you stop spawning for a minute? Thank you. And Iron Warhammer, probably worse than what we've got. Yeah, it's 1,400 damage per second worse. So we're going to be sticking with this weapon for a really long time. It's kind of unfortunate. There's our level up. I will take it after we kill these guys. And more into this. So we're going to go ahead, max this out first. Then I think our next thing is going to be Force Wave. And then into Scars of Battle. We might go Counter-Strike a little bit more because, well, it's not really doing much just yet. It's just there. Are you, uh... Oh, hi. The oligarchs are gone. What is next? I will do as you ask. Slay the Grand Piece of Zarthuzalan. Zarthuzala. If a thing, if a Zarthuzala. I'm going to check down here to the left. I seem to remember there being another side quest here. That could be wrong. It might just be a dead end. I'm probably going to miss some side quests. I need to look up all the ones that give you uh, skill and attribute points, though, because that is important. Getting a little bit stronger is a thing in these kind of games that you do want to focus on. And eventually, I wager, like, if we get good enough, we could do, like, speedrunning paths. I'm not going to do speedrunning strategies. I like speedrunning on platformers and stuff like that, but anything with inventory management, just kind of like, it's just no. Oh, there isn't anything down here. Okay. Because that just leads back up. The only spot that we could possibly have a side quest would be down here with just at the inside curve of this path. And I don't think we do. So this is the way we were supposed to go all along. And actually, it is the only way we can go. The only other exit is the one that we had at the north end of the thing down there. Which I don't know if it leads back to this place or not. So map-wise, yeah, that just leads us back to that intersection. So what I'm going to do... I want to investigate that other path. But I will come down here and do this. Because... I'm fine with that. Oh, there is, a, there is a hidden thing here. I was like, that looks like a weird outcropping. Oh, that's why it's a weird outcropping. Because there's a secret in here. There was stuff. And we don't need more of that. We do want more money. It's just not urgent. So I'm not going to do a bunch of like sale runs and stuff like that. I can go through an area and get enough items to fill my inventory really quick with this build. 
And that'll get us a few thousand gold. So, not gold, um, scrap. Or, no, it's not scrap, it's iron bits. Is it iron bits? Yeah, it's iron bits. Iron coins. So, we need to come down here and get Zarzusa Panama. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of other names to call him. Zul. Because I don't know if I can actually... Zarthuzlan. I think is how you're supposed to pronounce it, but... Can you guys stop spawning behind me? It's really it's really annoying to have to turn around. It's really actually not that annoying. It's just... It takes time. I don't like having enemies behind me because... In a pinch, I like being able to run away. I like to be able to run away! Yeah. So down here... Oh, we actually have... Okay, treacherous domain. As opposed to dangerous. So I think it's the... Yeah, I think it's like dangerous domain, but... It doesn't have like the massive boost to their level. Because they're, they're only a little above me. They're like 38, which I'm 35. So it's not a big deal. Um, yep, go ahead and open the chest. These are not proving to be very much worth it. Flame brand, one-handed... We'll do a one-handed build eventually. Just not right the second. Um, Diadem of the Aether. Nice. Not going to get it. So there is... I, I forget where it actually introduces the... Roguelite dungeon aspect. Hi, you teleport. You are an ass. <laughs> we don't like teleporting dudes here, my dude. No. Okay, so nothing in there. That was just rando boss. Because we've pissed off the undead. It's fine. The more pissed off they are, the better gear we get. So, And yes, we could up it to veteran difficulty to get even better gear, but I'm not worrying about it. I want to get through a few times on normal. So yeah, that's stairs to him, I think. And our, our, our swing damage is just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> We do some, We do actually sometimes attack. He attack, he smack, he rip things back. Okay, so we are in pain. Oh, groovy. So I'm going to get, let's see, what's our chance to be hit? 82% off. Actually, let's get physique. Let's just keep, let's keep on going with these. We will keep smacking through it. Skill-wise, we already appointed those. I always forget I have attribute points. I know that's stupid, but it is one of those things that this game does not really keep me aware of very well. It doesn't draw my attention to them. It's just a little tiny plus box next to my stats. It's a user design, I mean, user interface issue. That and also user forgetfulness issue. There, there is There is enough to be placed on the bugs between the keyboard and the chair. Hi, guys. And no, we apparently cannot shoot shockwaves through grates. Okay, so yeah, this is this is going to be probably the big fight I was thinking of before. Okay, so scavenge plating, murder you. We, we're actually, we're not one-shotting things, so it's a good thing. I don't necessarily always like one-shotting things. It's fun at times, but it's not necessary to actually enjoy the game. There is a time and place for a power fantasy, and it's not always. That's why Dark Souls is so popular. It, it, it's still a power fantasy, but you have to work for it. So we've got all these little buggers over here. Nothing too scary so far. Oh, we're just getting tower shields and stuff. Can you die already? So it looks like we actually have multiple stairs. Yeah, we have multiple paths of stairs. Maybe they lead to the same area, maybe they don't. We've had them lead to the similar areas before, but at the same time, we've had them not. So that is Steps of Torment, Floor 2 Exit, Steps of Torment, Floor 2 Entrance. Oh, that's where we came from, Herderp. So yeah, we are just looping around. We're going down into Torment. We're in Misery now. I think there's one more floor after this. Tor pain, misery, suffering probably, I think is probably the next one, if I had to guess. 
I, I, I do love their names of the floors. Just completely appropriate. So let's go northeast first. Hi, guys. Because why not? Northeast is as good as southwest. As far as, like, just choose a random location and go. Standing around doing nothing is less progression than going the wrong way. Lots of prison here. So we're just... Yeah, nothing too scary. We are taking damage. So the challenge is definitely going up. But we are also in yellow domains. So let's see. Yeah, we're going to go clockwise around this, I believe. Yeah, clockwise. I know which way a clock go. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. I don't... I, I prefer digital clocks, but I do know how a clock works because guess what? Didn't have a lot of digital clocks when I was young. We had those little, like, LCD, I guess is what you'd call them. The little... Not LCD. The little black and gray ones. There you go. That you could never see in the dark. <laughs> if that makes sense. This looks like it might be where... Oh, yeah. This is where we're supposed to be going. Hi, my dude. I, I am ready for your boss fight. You are going to summon and explode everything everywhere. It's fine. I'm only slightly afraid of you. Because you can just pound the living daylights out of me with a, a very well-placed lightning bolt. And if we die here, we'll have to do it all over again. Okay. Uh, my spell is not ready. Oh, no. We don't have a heal ready. Okay, enemy boss killed. Writings of Zarthuzalan. Okay, so you've destroyed the priest. It is finished. Uh, my master will be pleased for your service. I bestow upon you this key, the only way to unlock the ancient places of this world. So we've got the blueprint for that. Okay, so skeleton key is how we get into these. Oh, the lord. Okay, yes, many doors are sealed long ago by the ancient powers now lost. The doors before you were secured by such means, but I must warn you, the key will be destroyed once used, and the doors will not remain open for long. Once inside, the only way out is past the lord executioner or through death. Okay. Okay, so I have another question. What lies beyond these doors? I have another question. What do I do with the skeleton key? Once inside, the only way is to get past the Lord Executioner through death. Um, no, once the doors are sealed, you have to return. An you will have to return another time. Uh, what is the purpose of the Steps of Torment? It was a place to torture lifelong in prison for those for the who back up. Uh, in the end, it served as a prison for all necromancers of the Arcovian descent. Okay. Why are you serving him? I'm sworn to protect him even in death. He has proven to be a most interesting companion in the afterlife. Interesting. Cool. So now we can make skeleton keys. I think he gives us one. Yeah, he gives us one. We already know the recipe for it, so that's a good thing. But this is one of those dungeons I was talking about. Where you can basically... It's a roguelite. Essentially. And this is how they introduce it to you. I knew it was in this area somewhere. But I think the way to the next area is actually the other way around. So let's go... We'll, we'll do this dungeon. And then we'll move on to the city area. So let's go back to Devil's Crossing. And we will sell a bunch of garbage. It's kind of sad that Devil's Crossing is still our only main hub town after this many episodes, but it's because I'm enjoying exploring the areas. Once I stop enjoying exploring the areas, you'll see me kind of like, okay, we're going to move through here fairly quickly. Oh, and we actually have a lore thing as well. There you go. That is a very short piece of lore. So by the time we... Yeah, that's not what I intended to do, but that's fine. I intended to move all the way down here. Journal. I need journal. There you go. There. Pause it there if you want to actually read it. Sorry for not leaving it up very long. So there. 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 Yeah, these are all just going to get sold. That sells for 480 Nice. We'll just sell all the yellows, and we'll sell our potions. We'll keep that. It sells for 240 You. That's not very good there, sir. So we will go ahead and move that over, come back to you, drop that in. And I'm actually going to get rid of the dynamite as well. Just to get it out of my inventory so I have as much room as possible. Which isn't much. We only have two bags. So we're going to go down there and we're going to experience the shrine. 
And I don't think... Oh, you need dynamite, don't you? Very well, I'll gather the explosives. Oh, he wants three dynamite. Okay, I'll, I'll get his quest done before we go there. Might as well knock it out so we can actually do more stuff at his little location there. And I will do a sweep around to see if there's any other... Control click to split. I need three. Boop. And I don't see any other quests up here. You do get XP for talking to the little reset lady up there too. But I don't have a need for her right now. Because we're actually enjoying our uh, progress so far. Yep. Here it is. Is it safe? It's going to end well. Okay. We got explosives. Thanks. So she can now dismantle things. Which does... This process requires great energy, and so the clever inventor has made use of dynamite to fulfill this function. So it requires one dynamite, and you basically break them down into their basic parts. Okay, interesting. So we can actually take things down, and then we have transmutation to turn powerful items that belong to a set into other parts of the same set, or new set pieces entirely. Ah, oh, cool. So we actually get the ability to basically... If we get a bunch of one part of a set, we can transform that into other parts of the set. Nice. And I do want to check on one last thing, just crafting-wise. Since it mentioned trans transmuting stuff, so we need to look at two-handed weapons. Nothing good. So, yeah, these are just basic magic ones. We don't care about that. And armor-wise, we are looking at... Explorers? Uh, Kalidor's vestments? Nope. See, so yeah, all we have is the tunic and the trousers. We can make a bunch of the trousers! I don't want to right now. And in here, we yeah, we actually can search for... Trauma? Which, yeah, this is used to increase physical damage and internal trauma. And they are just a common component. Okay, so we can get more vicious jawbones. And that's physical damage, internal trauma damage. Okay. So we actually do have some options. That is one that we don't have a lot of. So I need to be careful with that one. But vicious jawbones, I don't mind using them. So we're going to put that on there. Yes. And amulets, yes. I didn't even I don't remember what we had on the amulet before, but we've got plenty of damage going on that. And that is a shield. And this is a weapon one. Okay, so that is a weapon that we can actually, you know, use. We could actually make that our left click as well. Uh, can I craft those? Physical damage, battered shell reduces physical damage, and it gives us block chance. Oh, it's using shields. I don't care about shields. So that increases lightning damage, cold damage, and yeah, searching through these is actually kind of useful. So we're looking for something that increases our internal trauma or physical damage on weapons. That is a shield one. I just need physical damage, just straight physical damage boost. But apparently it's not, doesn't have any for weapons. Which kind of sucks. Yeah, that's chaos damage. That's a shield thing. Why does it not have a boost in physical damage? Spine carapace is a thing we could actually do. Oh, there's rings ammo, so that increases physical damage. So we'll go with, uh, okay, rings with those. Yep, roiling blood is fine. And it seems like, yeah, we just don't have good options. It just makes physical fire damage and stuff like that, which is garbage to me. I mean, I guess we could use that. Sure, we'll put that in there. It's, it's just a most basic of things. And then let's see if we can make spined carapace and we'll put that into our armors. But I'm not entirely sure we can. I know that we actually have... Plenty of recipes here. So, spined carapace. Serrated shell. Spine carapace. That takes serrated spines and battered shells and aether crystals. So, yeah, we can make a few of those. And they go in all armor. So, we can put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That used up a lot of our resources. I can farm more as we're going through. And we can take these out of these by destroying them later. So now we have actually a crap ton of retaliation damage. Which means we probably should have actually gone for the other aura. It's fine. I'll stick with this. I was not expecting to go full on just extra damage back on everything. But, yeah. Let's see. What is our retaliation damage? Probably out the wazoo. Ah, uh, pet bonuses. Is it in three? Retaliation. Okay. So we have 883 physical retaliation damage. We got 104% modifier on it. So that's not bad. Okay. So skill wise, that means that we have. Didn't we have something that adds retaliation damage as well? I thought we did. And we might end up going field command too. But I know that does retaliation damage. I thought there was another thing available to us that had retaliation damage. But I guess I'm just not seeing it. Oh, never mind. Counter-Strike. There it is. 2% added to attack. So, yeah, we could actually make that kind of nasty. Because it has a pretty solid amount of physical damage and it boosts all retaliation damage as well. So, we're basically double retaliation damage. But let's go ahead and we will continue on down into that depth that we had there that we were originally planning on doing anyway. We just now are slightly better equipped for it. The Gates of Anguish, and there's several of these little areas, by the way. So we've got to get through here and survive. Oh no, the connection to Rift Gate seems absent in this place. Okay, so we actually have things spawning. And he is, um, durable. Hi. Probably not the best build for going through this particular one, I would wager, because there's a bunch of undead and stuff in here. But I think we'll be okay, and we'll take, uh, chain belts. We'll be looking for jewelry and belts, as far as what we pick up. <laughs>